Uh, hi, uh, in this video I would like to show you on how to create a base method. So, so far you learned what is the business example we taken and I showed you the system demo uh, for our business example which is already done. So now um, actually how I did these uh, all background um, uh, in the SAP configuration I am going to go through uh, with you into the system die. So now uh, when you go into the base method so uh, I explained in the in the what are the configuration steps and need to be performed now you need to go to the base method so when it comes to the base method is actually what should be the basis need to be used for calculating the depreciation so this is the key for uh, the system to do uh, programming logic background so where uh, the system will take the values correctly to do the calculations so now come let's go into the system to see how to create the system so um, while creating in the system so what you need to do uh, here is uh, you need to go SPRO under and you go to the SPRO here um, let me just, um, just go step by step in the path this is called SAP path that so after you are in the IMG, so you need to go to the financial accounting, asset accounting, and depreciation, and valuation methods, and the depreciation key. And here, the numbers, after that, there is a calculation methods. Then you are in the seventh step. So you need to expand this path to see where is the base method exactly. Yeah, so this is where you can see the base method, define base method, how you can define, so which will be in the SPR, which is in the backend configuration. All the consultants and everybody uh, who is uh, executing this change will be having a relevant access for the system. So now, after you are here, so go and click on the system here. So now, um, what I'm going to do here is we already having the production units. So let's say this is an ordinary production units. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this into 0033. So now, um, if you see here, ordinary depreciation units of production so this is the one I'm going to, this is called uh, units of production, depreciation. So you have to maintain the text and after that here, don't change anything here to the ordinary depreciation. So this one you keep as a remaining units, total number of units divided by the remaining number of units. So I will explain you this. Uh, later uh, in the in the other uh, multi-level method how this impacts there as well so now when it comes to here so these are the treatment at treatment of a end of a depreciation so i said no then now you click enter just click on enter so now you can click on save so now the transport will be created save in the transport so this is a very simple step for creating the depreciation base method. So you already done the base method, then yes, you will be familiar here. So how to create a base method in the system. So we done our first step for the base method. Thank you.